Hello again everyone, it is your Black Knight. And as you can see here, I got my $250,000, and that's probably the only good thing that happened to me in this, uh, this video. Uh, I was running a bunker mission, as you'll be able to see soon, and it doesn't go well, because there was somebody on the presser to decide he was just going to get out there and ruin everybody's day. Which was kind of odd, because I looked at, you know, I looked at the session before I joined it, and there was nobody that looked aggressive in there, nothing, there were no signs that anybody was going to, you know, flip out. But this person, I don't remember seeing them in the list, so, I mean, maybe it's a, it's a case of they weren't, they weren't there, or they just, just had a, you know, a snap of some nature. Being very angry. And, um... For whatever reason, this person decided just to hunt me and, and focus me exclusively. I don't, I don't know why. But I decided to fight back and engage. Normally the smart thing to do here, if you're ever in this position, is just to... If you're in this position, just leave the session. But, you know, one of the traditions of, of, the, of base and system services, of the base crew here, is that we would engage people like this, even if we were going to be on the losing end of it, because it would let everybody else get away. And that was kind of a thing that I haven't done in a while. I thought, you know, in the traditions of base, I'm going to engage with this person, even if it means that I get completely hammered. And I did, for the most part. He ended up killing me like 17 to 1 or 17 to... There was one time he died, I think he crashed into the ground, uh, or something like that. But, you know, so, I mean, I was, it didn't, you know, it didn't really damage my KDR all that much, because the number didn't change, because, I mean, I've been in so many of these battles, with 17 deaths, not going to really matter anything on a percentage basis. I'm not likely ever going to improve it much past .49 anyway. So, not that, i got nothing at stake here. So I just engaged with the guy, fired some bullets at him. Uh, I was happy to actually land any hits on him, and it was, you know, even was the, with the assault shotgun at some point. But the interesting thing for me is, for some reason, I mean, I've fought a lot of oppressors. I mean, they come up. You have a lot of oppressor mark dudes flying at you, this and that. This one, check me if I'm wrong, doesn't it seem like it's awfully fast? I mean, the speed on this thing is incredible. Now, you know, is there a new oppressor speed glitch that I'm not aware of? I mean, is, is it linked to... I don't know, frame rate? Maybe the guy's running this at a really low res and a really high frame rate so he can get a lot of speed? Or is it just, you know, it, it, depressors seem really fast when they're blasting the crap out of you? I mean, that could be that could be the case. You know, it's, it could just be how they are, and that's why everybody hates them. But we, I fought him for a while here. I fought him for about 20 minutes. And uh, I tried to say nice things to him. I tried to say, oh, does somebody need hugs? That may sound sarcastic, but do you, do you need a hug? Is there some? Why are you angry? Someone's either really into their KDR or they're, you know, they're, they just need a hug. I don't know. It's like, you know, I told them I'd keep them in my prayers. And I will, Lord, please let whatever anger has filled this person's heart be dissipated. And let them have, a, you know, your peace. And we ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. And I, I don't mean that facetiously at all. If you've got this much anger, you know, in a game where, you know, yes, you know, combat's a part of it. And, you know, sometimes if you want to impose your will on somebody and that makes you feel good, well, that's fine. But I think at some point he says, well, leave if you don't like it. Well, I like the idea is if I can keep that. Somebody says that if I keep battling the guy. Um, then, you know, maybe, perhaps maybe other people get their stuff done and get a chance to escape the session without getting pounded over and over again. So I tried to keep, you know, him focused on me as much as possible. Uh, I say him, I, you know, it's hard to assume what everybody is, you know, I don't know if it's a girl or a guy. I think it was a girl body model from the few glances that I got. So maybe it's a she, maybe it's, it's this person was a she, but, um, I'm just thinking, you know... You know, it's, it's a 50-50-90 there. You're 50-50 chance of being right, 90% chance of being wrong. So I don't know. We're going to say he because we don't know. And uh, for whatever reason... Oh, yeah, at the end of it, I think he said to grab his L, which I don't know what grab his L. Grab my L one or hold my L one at 500, which I don't know if that's supposed to be the shape of something that would indicate that it's a guy. I don't know. I don't know how to interpret a lot of this stuff. But... The, um, you know, I, I, I just fought back. I didn't, I tried to keep his attention. I tried to get a, a, a Ruiner 2000 through fully loaded, but you have to go so far to get the car. And then somebody else shot me out of it. Like, they weren't even, it's a level 18 or something like that. They didn't even, they're not even involved. Like, you realize I'm trying to help you, and then you're just attacking me randomly, you know. 
maybe he got confused and thought I was the guy killing him over and over again. I don't know. So that that hurt me though. I ended up just you know, quitting. I, I, I had to quit the session eventually because eventually this person left, and I'm not going to give them any glory by putting their name anywhere in the video or here or there or the other thing. But um, you can, if you look very closely, you can see um, the names here. If you want to read the text. If you don't, it get, it's not really important. It's just a person. You know, they probably they could have changed their name after they walked out of here. Someone else could have taken the name and, you know, oh, no, that wasn't me. I'm not that guy. I, I didn't do that. You know, it's, it's so you can't really trace people down. But it's it's an interesting, nothing you'd want to. It's a video game. But I figured, you know, if you're, I have, I've had all these videos where things have been going pretty well overall. I mean, I mean making money hand over fist. Things have gone well. But just in case you're curious, yes... GTA still has those moments where the griefers do win and they do you go out there and all I tried to do was get him off of everybody else. You can only get on one person's case at a time. He did he did jump off me and attack a couple other people at certain times, but I tried to tried to go after him. Eventually I got my Akula called in and then he left. So I don't know if he saw that I, you know I had a helicopter pulled in and then said the heck with it, or if he was just leaving anyway. But I figured it'd be cool, at least I could sneak up on him and then pop him with a missile, you know, something along those lines. And he could take a couple hits. But, uh, but we never did get to see that played out. You can see that at the end. When you, so by the time I get, I'm running for the helicopter, the, the video is almost over. But that's what went on in this one. I figured, you know, well, hey, you know, it's entertaining. If, if it's even mildly entertaining when things go well, it's got to be really entertaining when you're seeing me trying to fight this guy off with, you know, pistols on the ground, basically, you know, you know, shotguns and laser weapons and trying to track him. Um, I did, I did snipe, I did, there was one point where I did snipe him from a really long distance, and it didn't kill him, but it bounced him in the air and he fell off a cliff. And so that, that was, you know, probably the, the highlight moment of the whole thing. You know, he will, maybe we'll make that an end, uh, an end bump or something like that, where it's like, yay, poof. But, yeah, gotta take what you can from these experiences, and you know, wasn't any kind of fun really. But uh, it's it's combat, it's, it's fighting, it's late late video games. It's what you do. You can't get too worried about it. But I figured, hey, I might as well share it with my viewers and see if you guys find this entertaining or find it just annoying. Comment in the description. Should I avoid uploading stuff like this? Is it something that you find entertaining? Uh, should I just you know? stick to the successful uh, CEO in pajamas kind of stuff, or you know, should we keep the grief uh, flowing as it were? I feel like, you know, just, you know, the whole point of the channel is just to share with you what goes on, so this went on. And I don't know how much is left in the video as far as how long I've been talking, but on this note, enjoy the rest of the video, you can see the rest of the grief. And uh, this is your Black Knight. Have a great night.
Okay, so I guess I guess we just have a cow on the roof now. That's like a thing. <laughs>